Firefox, the popular web browser, is changing their development. They're moving their source code control from Mercurial over to Git. You might be wondering, why would they do this? Why would they move from Mercurial over to Git? And guess what? It turns out they were using both the whole time. I haven't gone through all the details yet here in this post, but it does seem like since they were using both of these at the same time, it really ended up being more of a burden, and so it makes more sense to consolidate. So that's the reason why. I mean, that's a really good reason. I think it's a pretty good reason, actually. So if you use either Mercurial or Git, you'll know that they are both very good version control systems. As you write software and you make changes to that software over time, you need to be able to account for all that history and all those changes. And these two systems keep track of those very well and efficiently, too, with low overhead. Firefox has announced that they are moving their development from Mercurial to Git. In addition to that, they went one step further because of their reason for moving from Mercurial to get was to simplify their overall end-to-end day-to-day. You don't want to have these two systems that are basically the same, you know, competing with each other. They look at all their other tools and they enumerate some of them here, such as Bugzilla. Whoa, Bugzilla! I <laughs> spent... I remember Bugs. Bugzilla has been around for a long time. I, we, we used to use this. They also have MozFab. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Let's find out what that is. Let's figure this out. Okay, so I see here uh, MozFab. Mozilla's Fabricator instance is a modification of the stock Fabricator, which is a code review tool. And it looks like what they did here is MozFab is specifically a custom command line tool. MozFab, right? Here, right? So here's the command line. And it communicates with the Fabricator API, providing some conveniences. Okay, so they've they've sort of wrapped up the Fabricator's API. And uh, since they used it so often, they added some conveniences and the ability to, to submit series of commits as well. So they can continue to use Bugzilla, MozFab Fabricator, and Lando. What is this Lando? All right, if this is the right Lando, I'm looking at right here this is probably what they're talking about it's a development environment that can run in the cloud so if you're familiar with something like github code spaces which allows you to do the same thing basically spin up a, a development environment but it's running externally on another system which is fantastic for if you have to do a lot of builds and runs like rust or c those kinds of things require a lot of uh, compute power to compile the source code it's kind of nice to have a server do that for you and keep your laptop nice and cool also, the servers are a lot faster in, in many cases. As we learned that Firefox is moving their source control from Mercurial over to Git, they gave us another tidbit of information here. Check it out. They're going to be using GitHub. They say even though they'll be hosting the repository on GitHub, their contribution workflow will remain unchanged. They will not be accepting pull requests at this time. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> they're, they say they're beginning the planning stages right now, and it says they're expecting six months before the migration begins. This could mean that there is going to be a nice big amount of effort to migrate a lot of their code from Mercurial over to Git right? We've got to do that migration. Are they going to keep all of the code revision history from the Mercurial when they migrate over? Or are they just going to get the file? I mean, it's what are they going to archive the old Mercurial source code history? I mean, it seems like that would be the easy path, right? Just grab the files that are already in Mercurial and then port them over to Git and then commit those as a first time brand new file, essentially. Oh, wow. Okay, look at all right, so they're going to give us a complete approach. They're going to describe their full approach, how to do this migration, and <laughs> they're going to go full force. They're saying that they're actually going to be removing Mercurial from developer workstation, so you won't be able to use it anymore. As a developer at Mozilla, this would be just an immediate... Oh, sorry, that version control system that you're used to? I, I mean, you're probably used to Git already. You just have to use it now as the only option forward. All right, so they say here that all going forward at this point, Git will be the new repository of choice. Any changes occurring to the code base at all will be in the Git version control system. Oh, and automatically synchronized into the Mercurial. Okay, so this must be sort of like a migration phase. So you will be using Git as a, a developer at Mozilla, but then you will not having to worry about Mercurial in the background, it will automatically receive changes and be synchronized. Uh, it seems like a pretty pretty good approach. All right, and they've got a phase two here, which is their infrastructure phase. The teams will stop working on um, any of the existing Mercurial tools, and instead they're going to be migrating those tools to specifically work on Git. This will be incremental rather than an all at once type thing, which makes sense because, you know, they can still use those Mercurial tools that they had already built because of phase one, which has synchronized in the background all those code changes over 
from Git into Mercurial. But at some point, they're going to be fully on top of Git and they won't have any more need for those legacy Mercurial tools. Even though this is gonna be a, an investment for the team, centering your focus on simplicity is key. This allows you to streamline a lot of your development practices. There's less to worry about. And with general simplicity reduces the overall debt from the organization. You don't have to have extra documentation for two systems that basically do the same thing. So this is a good thing. They're doing it. They're doing it the right way. Let's improve simplicity in the overall system and in improve its maintainability.